Hey YouTubers, today I'm gonna show you how to set up your Sega Genesis Mini to exit any game from RetroArch and go back to the Sega Genesis menu. Your Sega Genesis um, modded menu. Okay, let's choose a random game so I can show you how to set up this option. Let's choose a Game Boy Color game. Any game will work. I'm gonna show you how this works first. Let's choose. Uh, let's choose this game just to show you how it works. So, so in order to sorry, this this the volume is kind of loud. Let me lower it a little bit. Okay, in order to exit any game and go back to the main menu, you have to press the start button twice. As uh, as you can see on the on the on the left corner of your screen is gonna show the message. See, I press the 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 start button twice, and then it's gonna take me back to the main menu. I'm gonna show you this one more time. Let's choose the same game again. Okay, let it start. Okay, and let me show you how do I exit it. One, two. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up this option in RetroArch for all your games. Let's choose another random game, but this time for a different system. This time I'm gonna show you with a Super Nintendo game I'm gonna show you how it's done let me choose this random game okay in order to access uh, you have you will have to access the retro arc menu first by keep the start button pressed like this for a few seconds and then as you can see the menu is showing up right now so we're gonna press the B button once and then we're gonna go to settings and go to settings input when you're using your retro arc uh, menu you have the confirmation button is the C button here so let's press the C button to go to the input we have to turn this option on as you can see I'm gonna turn it off and on just so you can see actually I'm forgetting something very important in order to apply the changes you will have to you will have to go to quick menu and then close con the content once you close the content, you have to press the B button once, and then we're gonna go one more time to settings. We're gonna go to input by pressing the C button, and then we're gonna turn this option on. Once we do that, we have to set this other option to hold start for two seconds. There are different options that you can use, but for the Sega Genesis Mini, this is the best option hold start for two seconds now that we did that we have to go to the hot key binds we're gonna press C to choose this option and then here where it says quick retro arc we're gonna press the C button to change the button to the start button on your controller now we have set up the start button to quit retro arc by pressing it twice and to access the retro arc menu by pressing it for two seconds okay just to make sure we done this correctly we're gonna go back to mm, the main menu we're gonna go back to the main menu and then we're gonna go to configuration file by pressing the C button once again and then we're gonna choose save current configuration again by pressing the C button 
once we confirm that the configuration has saved then we should be ready to go now we're gonna exit RetroArch and we're gonna try this once again one more time let's choose a random game let's choose this pack attack game by pressing, remember on, on, on the Sega Genesis menu the confirmation button is the A button so now that we have set up this option we're gonna press the start button twice to exit this game and that's how it's done I hope this video is helping you with your Sega Genesis mini settings but if you have more questions you can leave them on the comments below Thank you my friends and see you next time.